All right, we're going to move on. We're going to talk about Sean Bean, who has absolutely no idea what the hell is going on in Hollywood, apparently. He just went right into the crosshairs. Do you think he picked his name on purpose? Like, do you think his what? parents named him Sean, or do you think... As in C-N-B-N? Because it's S-E-A-N-B-E-A-N. Yeah, like, C-N-B-N. Why? I don't get it. <laughs> so it says, Game of Thrones star Sean Bean says intimacy coordinators spoil the spontaneity of sex scenes, and he decries the censorship of his work. Um... He has like it's. I'm imagining this. I'm imagining literally like Harvey Weinstein happens, Me Too happens, and he just falls asleep. He's just and been he's just blissfully been unaware the whole time. <laughs> he's woke up from a coma. <laughs> he he fell into a coma in 2015 and woke up today mm-hmm. and was like, "So intimacy coordinators, right, guys? That's they are thing. just ruining things around <laughs> here." Um, I don't like this. What don't I, you like about it? I'm certainly not pro intimacy coordinators if we're going to have sex scenes at all, but overall I'm anti sex scenes. And I think if you're going to make them, they are exactly what he said they shouldn't be, which is a a coordinated technical exercise. Yeah. They're not spontaneous. They're very much planned. They're very much like a stunt. They're like fake. They, like uh, uh, Jamila Jamil says in her, yeah. in her comments. So, uh, I just don't think they should happen at all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because there's no reason that you can't include that in a story without showing like it, everything. Uh, like it, I, I, you can tell a lot more by implying things or masking things from view than showing everything. I, I, I think wonder, that's a huge problem with new projects. Yeah. It's just overwhelming the amount of explicit graphic scenes in especially like HBO Max shows but all over the place Netflix is terrible about it too it adds nothing and just shows that they put less effort into writing and more into grabbing people's attention at their most base desires I was watching something the other day and looking through the oh, and now I can't remember. Uh, a lot of those scenes are network mandated, meaning that it's so creepy, the, so the, disgusting, the, it's so, so weird. weird. The director is like, would be like, you know, I'd be just as fine not having it, but the network says, look, it's, uh, it's fantasy. Is like rubbing it's George R. R. Like, Martin. No. Uh, it's a fantasy series. We're gonna have titties. That's more We're creepy and <laughs> like so R. Wordy and Me Too e than anything yeah. else that I've heard. And why is that allowed to continue? Yep. So and I so do believe weird. that that like uh, as much as I hate I, I really dislike Jamila Jamil I believe that she is I correct. All of these uh, I, I I believe that she's correct that it should not, it should be looked at as a technical exercise. He's looking at it more of like uh, in an old school like oh we're acting we're feeling out the scene like a lot of actors evangelize the idea of like we're like searching for truth. We're like, we're like, we're, we're truth it. seekers. Like we're trying to find the truth of the character. Well, your truth cannot be ha- held uh, in the wrong place on a woman's body. Apparently that's what Hollywood, that's where Hollywood draws the line, at least in front of the camera, according to them. It was kind of the same in the comments from Lena Hall after uh, Poor when she was like responding to this. Um, she was saying like, it was a really difficult scene to do is very conceptual. And it was just us against the world in that scene. And Creepy. it's like, well, what are you okay, even talking about? Did you see this about? stuff from Neil Patrick Harris where he talked about filming Gone Girl and they were like, so just go off on your own and like figure yeah. it out, which is like what? equally weird. What? So in that way, like I wonder what Mr. Bean's comment on that would be because I guess they could have figured out the spontaneity. <laughs> well, and and to, to his credit, the, the, the actress says, look, he made me feel extremely comfortable. Sure. He was extremely professional and he's looking at it from kind of an old school, I'm old, I don't realize just how like bad yeah. things are for the younger generation. I think also his personality is just likely to see it as a spontaneous impulsive thing because they're searching uh, for truth. He's Mary. Yeah, he's They're in, finding the truth of the scene. If, if that means that he has to cop a feel, then he's very according to him so be it. Into like the method of it, yeah. the art of it, but He's lost in the art of it. He's just it seems like he's also an, an impulsive and very emotional person because 
he's 63 and has been married five times <laughs> and calls himself a romantic because of it. I think the natural way lovers <laughs> behave would be ruined by someone bringing it right down to a technical exercise, he added, comparing his experience to the raunchy 1993 adaptation of uh, Lady Chatterley's Lover. But the thing is, they have to do extremely emotional scenes that have nothing to do with sex that w are just as much of a technical exercise with a director giving you notes. How is that any different? Yeah, if it were all about spontaneity, then you could make up your own lines. Yeah. Yeah. I think the other thing is like intimacy coordinators are probably there to say stuff like in this day and age we can't not have them I don't know what this guy's talking about because presumably if you're an actor or an actress and you're like I really don't want to do this thing the director is asking me to do you're not going to tell the director because he'll fire you or yell at you. You go to the intimacy coordinator. Like it gives a but buffer. But it's unfortunate that you even need to have that middleman and not just be respected regardless. Sure. But like I I'm totally on board with the idea that like we really don't need as many sex scenes as we get in movies and ultimately they are like not they are to sell the movie and they are not to develop the plot mm -hmm. but I just don't trust this system of I know this is like a British production so we can't really say Hollywood but like I think all film <sighs> industry need more people to be held accountable and so if we have a director and an interest coordinator yeah. and probably a lawyer on set and I like whatever we need to get this to stop happening because but the it fact is that so this, creepy. those scenes are mandated it's creepy Bridgerton by the studio anyway like Bridgerton over the top Euphoria Game over of, the Game top of Game of Thrones Game of Thrones I think it was Extreme, I think like, Euphoria is the one that he said that like it, that it's studio so mandated bad. Uh, SAG after opens membership to accredited intimacy coordinators essential members of production I think I might have to go for a second career here guys Get, I wonder how I wonder how much it costs. How do you to study my, to become that, Brett? That's what, a fantastic what do you watch, question. What do you watch a lot of to sort of get those things <laughs> down? Maybe I'm just curious. Maybe just the problem know. here is that Sean Bean should have had an intimacy coordinator in his marriages. Ooh, that way he wouldn't burn. Have <laughs> maybe then he'd have a successful maybe, one. I didn't know you divorced loser. <laughs> no, nice. that's Got so him. mean. Okay, Got I'm him. kidding. I, I, I'm um, kidding. No, I it's <laughs> a joke. Okay, um, I. I recently was looking at a thread on Twitter where people were talking about sex scenes and how they've just been becoming more and more common and like pervasive to, to the point where you can't even fast forward through them or know when to avoid them or when they're coming. It's just out of nowhere, no context and no value poor to kids along in living rooms with their parents everywhere just it's, like it's, ruining their lives yeah like, if they're if you're around family or you're just around other people watching that it's awkward even if you're alone and you didn't expect to see that it's awkward and it doesn't add anything to what you're watching i don't think like i just don't understand who this is for because if you want to watch porn then go do that but mm -hmm. it shouldn't be on a, a mainstream streaming platform i think the fact that it's mandated from the studios is even more telling like they are looking at i assume the porn industry and being like we want to profit off of what you guys are profiting off of so and then probably this, so <laughs> i feel like they're directly competing with yeah. pornography which is like more disturbing because probably everyone watching has opted specifically not to watch porn whether it's for i just want to watch a movie or like for whatever reasons you have and to then weave it back in and be like it's inescapable there's no options they used to bring in uh, adult film actresses and actors into scenes like the like, like well it, chloe cherry in euphoria is exactly that they did she the was casted thing. from being scouted in pornography i believe so. more than a few were involved in the first season of true detective um i would argue too that like this so when we had decency standards that wouldn't allow, and I mean decency standards in like a technical way, uh, that wouldn't allow you to show like intimacy. It's like why every TV parent on in the world is like in separate beds, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're not allowed to have Based. it. Right. You had to convey intimacy and um, the idea that they were sleeping together in a more nuanced way. So there's like, words and actions. Well, and there's like a, or in more creative ways. Like there was this yeah. scene, I think it's a Humphrey Bogart film where like at the end of the the movie, you know, the, the strapping man saves the day and the girl falls into his arm and they kiss. And then the next scene is a train going into a tunnel. Yep, I remember Which that. is like bold, <laughs> but it's not graphic. It's just making you think, which is like, 
it's so much better it's so much more creative it's so much more interesting you can actually have a lot of people in the room i remember all this stuff about like disney movies or um like hey arnold was one of the shows that they're like it actually had a lot of layered uh technical stuff that like adults could appreciate but were mi often missed by children because they were blended into the show so well instead of drawing attention to the fact like hey do you know these people are sleeping together look 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 it's like much more subtle and i think that in some way by making film just more do like, it and see, just do it with cgi making They're doing film, everything else with cgi well making <laughs> film more like porn is actually not helping artistry at all well also like it's a running joke everyone knows that in porn they have these so-called storylines to in the beginning to like set the scene i posted and increasingly on TV shows and movies, the stories are getting that low effort and that cheap and like laughably stupid. So it's overlapping to the point where there's almost becoming like no distinction between the two. I just posted a meme the other day. It's a guy who says, I just got hired for my p first porno. I'm playing the guy going to work. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so like m maybe it is like, okay, here's the real question is like, uh, what if they end up getting an Oscar for stunt or for like intimacy coordinators before stunt coordinators? I would be mad. <laughs> I just gonna level with you like I I think if you're gonna have sex scenes we should probably have lots of accountability for stuff because it just seems like such a crazy risk in this day and age we to continue to produce sex scenes but I digress I think that stunt coordinators in a lot of ways I would argue add more to movies than well, yeah. intimacy coordinators do and in some ways the intimacy coordinator is if we're treating it like a technical stunt should be under that umbrella so really we should have stunt mm -hmm. coordinators get recognized well before maybe the writers should consider it part of their job that if they're doing their job well and they've conveyed the emotion properly they won't need them yeah if you've conveyed the emotion well enough you don't need a scene that requires it right? or no, they i know they they don't need them but they add them for nefarious reasons i i, I consider like i said i'm no prude and i don't like doesn't bother me to watch them but they always fe feel unneeded to me i just think we rely too heavily on it right now yeah. like there is nothing else that we can figure out how to sell movies and yeah that is sad and that's uh you know i always equate sequels to like sugar like i get every once in a while it's good to have a candy bar but like we don't here need we to just go hannah loop. claire with her sequel Shh, hatred you again. can't interrupt me mid comment I can absolutely. Uh, <laughs> this is brett's show he can do what he wants <laughs> but like you know if you just dilute your diet and kill yourself on sugar then it's obviously bad your teeth fall out you get diabetes right with like the intimacy coordinators we don't use intimacy sparingly yeah. in a way that is like um surprising or sort of like you know there are there are movies from back in the day what's the one where is it mrs robinson she like takes some stance that's like suggestive or whatever like i guess one like but, yeah, like, like hold on it she, should feel earned right and like people talk about that they remember it as a cinematic moment it's bold and now we do it all the time we're like Sydney Sweeney who was in Euphoria like she's never not going to be known as that girl who just mm. basically had a lot of sex on TV right like we are no longer we have become so desensitized to this that we can't figure out when to cut it off and that is ultimately killing the art thanks for watching this clip guys if you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media links are in the description below bye, bye.